All right, welcome to May 2018 on Spray Paint Art Secrets. Check out that uh, Eyes of the Forest painting. We're going to do that this month. It's pretty beautiful, and it's got a lot of really interesting techniques in it that you can learn, including how to work with the newspaper, how to make eyes, how to make a new kind of foliage. I'm going to go over some new tools that... Check that out. How's that done, huh? That's this. We have a special video showing you how that's done and where you can find this new tool. It's probably maybe even in your house right now. And then we're going to move on to using stencils in our planets. I've got this lace, uh, lacy stencil that I got um, from a department store. I just liked it and um, just experimenting with using it in planets. So when you see a stencil, you know, grab it because these things can be useful for making some new effects. So I'm just going to go over how to use that and how to improvise using those stencils and involve them in your painting. And there's a whole bunch of other cool little effects in here, like how to make some of these hills covered with foliage in front of these cities and how to paint with just a couple of colors and all kinds of fun tools. Check out the uh, sky there. All right, and then we're going to move on and we're going to do an abstract painting on wood and I'm going to show you how to improvise it how to paint on wood and how to make those palm trees really easily. Painting on wood can be a really uh, eye-opening experience because it just feels very, it feels different than painting on paper and it, I think it comes out looking more, sort of more sophisticated. So I definitely recommend trying that. Of course, you want to use a kind of wood that's not going to bend at all. And then we've got all these, these really fun improvisational effects that you can use, whether you want to do landscapes or just abstract paintings in general. And then I go over how to make um, palm trees. How to just really take your time and get, get the, the look of the fronds and everything just right using your brush, but also using a little torn piece of poster board. And then we're going to continue with our landscapes. And we're going to do a, we're going to use a black and white only for this landscape to keep it simple so that you can really focus in on those techniques. But check out the foliage. Those are two tools that you probably haven't used before and I'm going to show you how it how to use them, how to make them, how to actually make them in this video and how to how to use them to just create all kinds of really lush effects. We're just using black and white, so you know that those effects are really strong, that you can make them with just two colors if you want to. And of course there's waterfalls and mountains and all kinds of stuff in here that's fun to, fun to experiment with and that you can use in just so many ways. And then this is a, a painting that was inspired by a technique that Gerardo uh, thought of about sort of these layered galaxies and how to make them all the different layers that create this effect. So I'm going to go over the layered galaxies. So just think about how you might want to use this in your own artwork. What would you do if you were able to create all of these effects and ideas and just moments? And go to Spray Paint Art Secrets and sign up to be a basic or gold member to get these videos. They'll be posted for the basic members in May 2018 and gold members will have access always. Hope you've enjoyed. Any questions? Uh, my name is Elisa Amour and my email is spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. Ciao!